Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Aqua's Adventure. So today we're going to be doing some building. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the things that I've been working on because I have not played this game in quite a while, but let's kind of just jump right into it. So I have some science here. This is kind of sloppy, but you know, while, while I'm playing, I'm not exactly too worried about the spelling. So let's kind of take a look at what I've been thinking, what I want to get done. Um, some of the kind of just like random ideas that popped in my head is in the near future, I do want to build some kind of waterfall, maybe a spaceship up in the sky. Who knows? Um, I need to make graves for the two cats that got struck by lightning a couple episodes ago. I never got around to doing that. And I would like to set up another beacon. And here in the background, we need to rebuild the potion farm, get a flower farm, get uh, the mushroom houses going. But here are some of the things that I've been doing off camera. These aren't really things that kind of progress the game. They're just things that make this place look nice so i updated the parking lot a lot i did some terraforming added some ender pearl dispensers and i do want to make some tnt launchers to kind of fly around the elite really easy now the parking lot i say i did some work but i pretty much got it done uh, i used a lot of the ink sacks of course from the squid farm that we built a little bit ago now before we actually go out there and see i wonder will the map be updated Will the map be updated? No, I think we're too far. What we'll do, we'll actually grab, we'll grab all the maps that are around here because I did a lot of terraforming. We're going to go ahead and update these maps when we go out there. So even, you know what, we can just grab all the maps to be honest up until down here. So let's go take a look at what I've done. So right from the get here, let's just place these in there. Right from the get go, you could see there is an ender pearl dispenser over there, and I've added them all across the map. So it's a very simple concept. You walk over it, gives you ender pearl. I can go somewhere quickly. It just makes traveling a lot easier. Now, I guess we'll take a look at the terraforming back here because this one wasn't hard. It just took a very long time. You guys could probably maybe remember that there was like hills and stuff back here. Well, now it's all of it completely flat. I flattened out this entire area for a pretty good ways here all you could check that like the no, videos before this these this was hills before okay now let's go to the place that i did the most work on which is a cr on the other side of this castle while we're here i also did do some t a little terraforming here to kind of square this up. okay and i know there is another dispenser right over here so let's grab this, throw it, and we'll probably land around the area that we need to go to. All right, so here, let's talk about this place a little bit. I also did terraforming here. You could tell it's very, very clean. Over here is where most of my time went, hours and hours. All this was a giant hill, all completely cleared out. Over there, cleared out. Behind there, all that stuff is cleared out. Up on the hills, cleared out. Everything has been terraformed to look really nice the pond was shrunk a little bit and right in front of me you could see the parking lot and the road that i built so now the car designs were taken from somebody else on google which i don't know who but they're pretty standard car designs so i don't think i have to give credit to anybody let's kind of go through what i did from this road up here so i i don't know if this looks good but i added a road right in front of the building that kind of goes up over here so the road kind of starts here. Now, it, I don't know exactly how to do this, but I kind of just kind of made the road end kind of like it's fading away. And I added these little street lamps. And I, there was a house over here for some reason that I built a while ago. So I just thought, might as well make it go up here and right by the chess, um, chess board. Now, here is what the standard car looks like. I don't think it looks bad. It has the wheels with, like, <laughs> stone button rims. This one is just the white car you could say there was like another model that i built that i kind of did myself and there are other things i could do just i didn't feel like doing them at the spot but this is kind of like the standard car design so if we go down here of course the street lamps keep going we have a little bus stop right here this actually got burnt down once by lightning which wasn't fun i also did add some bushes on the sides here of the buildings i thought it looked a little plain and a dispenser right there here's another car design it's just this is the blue kind so what I did is I added a road coming up to the side, and we have kind of two parking lots, you could say. I mean, they're still connected, but there's like this row and that row, and you have the openings in each one. So it's just a standard parking lot. Uh, each 
uh, actual lot is the exact same size so it's not misshaped and of course there's the little curb at the end of each one so this is the first car that I built and then I built this one kinda like a wider car I don't think it looks terrible it's more of like a van shaped and then I just went along and built cars of different shapes and colors but they all have the same standard design and of course I did terraform around the sides of it too to make it look real nice around the entire thing I added this um, kind of fence I don't know if this looks nice but I think it looks acceptable for now of course I can change it in the coming future and my favorite part is I did put signs on all of them and I wrote really stupid stuff like this is my actual license plate in real life that's like my actual license plate. It's my name's David so um hey hey kind of just what popped into my head to be honest I did this yes I I I did do this why did I do this you guys tell me 47 don't look here what else did I write? I'm watching YouTube. I did. I was watching YouTube when I built this. That is quite true. Cars are cool. Yeah. These cars are quite fabulous. Very, very nice. Beep boop. Okay. Apparently that car is a robot. Maybe Optimus Prime or whatever. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> why did I do this? What else did I say here? Secret message. Don't look here production quality okay those are the things that ran through my mind but we'll take a better look at this with elytra we'll go ahead and fly around and yeah this is pretty much all i did fixed up the, the water a little bit made it a bit smaller i pretty much just went around and just fixed everything there's also a couple other small changes like if you guys remember there was a ravine here before i decided the ravine just kind of looked ugly so uh the roller coaster still goes under here and does its thing, but I did remove the ravine because I just I didn't think it looked nice, so it is gone and it kind of just picks up from here. And yeah, guys, that was pretty much what I did off camera. All right, I'm looking at this and I think it looks right, hopefully. But yeah, so we updated kind of everything here. Now you can see this is all pretty much just flat green. We have the giant parking lot, and guys, the world is really coming together here. Um, I do need to grab a fresh pair of Elytra, though, because mine are almost broken. And then we will take a quick ride, but of course, we do have plenty because I do go out. Sometimes go grab some more for purposes like this, in case we break ours. Okay, so let's go and take a quick ride around. And now this is exactly why I want to build that TNT launcher. So you know what we're going to do? Just because it ties in, before we actually go out and look at it, we're going to build that TNT launcher that I was talking about. So what my idea with that is, I want something to just like shove me really high in the sky so I can fly with my Elytra a lot easier. I do have these little slime things, but it's not the same effect. I want to go like super high in the sky. So we're going to build that real quick. Okay guys, so I have all the materials that I think I need. And yeah let's hope we don't just blow up everything because I would be pretty sad about that and I'm thinking where should we build it but I think we should just build it right here this is kinda like the main part from here everything is accessible so I'm thinking we just build it right maybe here so I think I'll be standing on this fence post when I get blown up into the air and what we're gonna do right now we're going to add the water in now, so if any time any TNT goes off, I won't die along with it. I think we'll be good. I think there's at least a little bit of TNT in each one. Okay. And, of course, let's put our Elytra on. And I, I don't know if this hurts my arm, or maybe, hopefully it doesn't. So, theoretically, what we would do is get up here. Stand right here, press the button, and then we would get shot up into the air. Bam, yeah, and then from here we would be able to take off our Elytra if I could press my <laughs> the space button. So that's kind of the idea with this TNT launcher, is just for it to put us really high in the air very, very quickly. Now, this does look like a pretty janky setup, but 
I think it looks fine. It's it's a very raw redstone project. A very quick. Oh Jesus. That isn't good. Okay, so I managed to fix most of the chests. Now the other chests, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on this video footage that I'm recording right now, and I'll go fix those. So we'll take care of that later. The TNT cannon is gone. Now guys, I have a good idea. I want to go really high. I want to get shot out of the church. Or castle church castle thing i don't know there's a giant cross on top of it so it might be a church but it might be a castle i don't know what it is but whatever it is it's gonna happen because i already built it right in the middle here we have obviously a tnt cannon all hooked up with reds on the buttons right here we just stand there and i made a pillar all the way from the roof so the roof has one little opening in it where you can't even see it from this and you know what we have our elytra on let's put some fireworks in our thing and let's go ahead and try it and this will not blow up anything else thankfully all we have to do is stay on this side of the corner look into a corner so we don't fly somewhere else and bam we come just flying out of the tower and i'll show you guys the hole real quick the hole is just these these two little holes right here so it's not even noticeable i think it's cool um of course this is like totally unnecessary if we wanted to fly all we have to do is like double space and just fly so that's why i really liked it to be close to me but i can't endanger all of my stuff for it so i think this is a good little place right in the middle but as i say that we still haven't looked at the parking lot and stuff like that from a high view so we're gonna do that right now using this new fun little tnt cannon that i built okay so we can kind of see it from high up it looks kind of cool it's not perfect, but I mean, I'm not a perfect builder. You could see a lot of the terraforming that I've done here, especially over here. All of this has been terraformed. The ravine is gone, and <laughs> the animals have to render in. And over here, yeah, all of this, once again, terraformed. So I'm going down really fast, but yeah, guys, our world is really developing now. I like it. The road comes all the way up here. And guys, I don't know if you guys remember, because you, you guys have to be watching for a pretty long time. But over here, actually, is where we took our first wither fight. You can still see that crater is from the wither, which is kind of interesting. But, okay, guys, we looked at kind of everything that I did off camera. But little TNT launcher. Let's do a project for today. And, yeah, let me just get some stuff together for that. Okay, guys, I think one quick thing we can do is make the graves for the two cats. So, of course, those two cats were very, very special. So, we must pour a lot of uh, resources into it. So, we're going to go ahead and make a lot of these expensive ore blocks. And we're going to decorate the graves with them. Because, of course, the cats are very special. They deserve a very, very, very expensive grave. Guys, I have a pretty interesting idea for what I want to do with the these two graves I'm gonna make like one but for the two and of course if you guys don't remember lightning struck right here and killed these two cats uh, a couple episodes ago mr. and mrs. pineapple named by Bo Schmidt so yeah now where are we gonna build this because we do have this little target here and I don't want to build the grave in front of a shooting target you might just go over here and build it right here and i've got an interesting idea with dispensers and fish i want to try to make it make the grave dispense fish like every couple minutes kind of as a tribute to the cats okay so let's go ahead and take the signs out so we got over here mr oh, why is my caps lock on mr pineapple pine apple there we go Mr. and Mrs. Pineapple. And then, yeah, I guess around the sides, just add some iron blocks. We, what we'll do, actually, we'll put an emerald block, block right in the middle. Okay, guys, so I have done it. I built the redstone clock. This is one of Etho's really old designs from, like, 2013. But it's still my favorite hopper clock right now, and I tested it does work. I put a very large timer on it, a couple minutes at least, because stuff does despawn every five minutes, I think. 
and I hooked it up to these two hoppers just like so. So really all we have to do now is place fish in both of these and about every five minutes they should dispense. Poor. So of course and bam there you go there are two fish so every couple minutes this will dispense fish in memory of Mr. and Mrs. Pineapple and of course we'll be able to decorate this later more if we needed to but for now I think that's just pretty good it's a standard very 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 wealthy grave that dispenses fish okay guys so I did a lot of things off camera so I don't know how much I want to do actually on camera but I guess we can do two more things for this episode let's build the mushroom place for the mushroom cows and let's play around with some animals I have a bunch of name tags that I've gotten from fishing and I want to try out some weird names on some animals because I know there's a couple kind of Easter eggs with those. So I want to try that out. So I think maybe the first thing we should do is go to the mushroom biome and grab a lot of the kind of materials, kind of like the homeland. How with the polar bears got a lot of snow with the llamas, we got just kind of grassland materials. We are going to need some materials from the island itself. So I think I'm going to travel there, grab as much material as I can and we'll be back to build it and the mushroom are right here so i do already have it i just need the materials for it okay so we are here now i think i'm just gonna try to grab a bunch of this mycelium and some of these mushroom trees now i did forget to bring a silk touch shovel but i do have a silk touch pick on me so i think what i'm gonna have to do is just break it with uh my pick which kind of sucks but oh well so guys one quick thing that i do want to show you guys where we built the llamas, it's actually funny. They can get inside of the trees. Now, they can't get out because I did actually block off everything here. They can't jump. But they can get in the trees, which is a little bit funny to watch. There's two llamas. There's one over there in the corner. He's been in the corner for a long time. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. Okay, guys. So, I did a little bit of work. So, what I decided to do is we are going to have it up over here, kind of right next to the llamas. And I dug out a little space over here, and this is where we're going to build the mini biome. Okay, so let's take the mycelium that I have. Now, I didn't bring a lot, but that's fine, because we're not going to need a lot anyway. And I guess we just put it in, like, the, kind of the first layer, and then it will spread from there, kind of on its own. Kind of just how I placed it. Just like that, and then they won't be able to get out. Now, I probably should do that just in case. I did bring gates with me for the first time in building one of their homes. And we could place that, I guess, right here. We could technically place gates a little bit of everywhere. Place one right here. The amount of gates doesn't really matter. They can't get out of them anyway. And I guess we'll place one right here. So at both sides and the middle. So guys, also, we need some mushroom plants, of course, in here. So let's try to make one. Now... Does it just, whoa, okay, it does work just like that. So we can just, it's just like any tree with bone meal, but you just need to have it on a mycelium block. That's how I thought it would be. So it's good. Now, okay, I, I want, obviously, the cows to be able to walk around, so I need to not make them that big. Let's try to make one up here. Oh, and this is a, one of the tall ones of the tall variety, so that's pretty good. I don't know how many of these we need. I guess we could build... A couple more build one here and hopefully I got to make sure they can't like climb on top of it and jump out it doesn't look like they can but like see blocks like this I'm just gonna block up just in case I think I want like one more maybe one over here but of course I do need my psyllium to spread it to there so I'll have to wait a minute Okay, and I think that's pretty much all we need. Sure, no, they won't be able to climb over that. Okay, cool. Now, what we have to do is bring over the cows themselves. And I do have two leads that I did find in the nether. <laughs> bam, bam. Actually, this one is not even supposed to be here. And cool, we did it. Now, we just have to wait for the mycelium to spread and make sure they have no way of getting out, which they really shouldn't. Um in a place back there but we do got to go grab the name tags real quick and if I could fly this would be great 
There we go. And I'm pretty sure our name tags are up here because, of course, the fishing farm. And I landed on the wrong side, but they should be over here. So, yeah, we do have plenty of name tags. At this point, we have a bunch of them to spare. So, we're just going to name a bunch of them different types of things. So, the two ones that I'm looking at right now is... I don't know if there's any more than this. If there are, I don't know about them. But the Dinner Bone and the Jeb. Uh, ones with sheep and certain animals. Naming them Dinner Bone or Grum makes them go upside down. And naming a sheep Jeb underscore makes them multicolored. But I guess we will see. So, let's name... Let's get out a bunch of them. Because I did get quite a few animals out there. So, let's name... We gotta make sure I spell it right. Dinner bone. There we go. So there's one dinner bone. Let's make a couple dinner bones. Let's make like five. Okay, so there are six dinner bone ones. And I guess we'll make two Jeb ones because I only have two sheep with me. I, I didn't pick up the, the ender pearl. So I built them over here next to the polar bears. And yeah, I just brought kind of a selection of animals. Some chickens, a llama, villagers, sheep, pig, and cow. Of course, I don't want to bring any mobs because we are in peaceful mode and they will disappear. But yeah, let's get out the two Jeb ones. I think we'll do the sheep first. Bam. Let's try the underscore Jeb that's not capitalized. Here. Oh, okay. So it just needs to not be capitalized. And then what about the normal Jeb? If I could get to it, uh, you know, I'll just go around then. But yeah, you guys can see it is multicolored. Bam, how about you? Do you work? No. How about this? Bam. No, that doesn't work. So it just needs to be Jeb underscore that is not capitalized. I just wasted so many name tags. But once again, we have so many at this point. It doesn't even matter. But I do got to go make one more now. Okay, so we got the second name tag. Bam, there we go. Now there, we have two multicolored sheep. So that's pretty interesting. Now let's grab the dinner bone ones. And let's see what it does. <laughs> now the cow is upside down. Pig is upside down. Villager is upside down. That's kind of funny. And we'll get the two sheep. Actually, we made just enough. Look at that. So, yeah, this is kind of funny. Everything is just upside down. Just kind of weird to look at. But, yeah, this is the... This is, this, I, this is very entertaining. Okay, guys, so I think this is enough for today's episode now i know most of this episode was done off camera we only did a bunch of small projects but i think it'll be fine the parking lot did take a lot of work from my end but yeah off episode i'm gonna fix these stupid chests because of course they got blown up by the tnt can and i might go fix a little bit of mycelium make it more make it bigger maybe and if i do that i'll obviously update you guys night next episode but guys if you enjoyed me messing up my words every five minutes this episode, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.